When you stay at Frank Sinatra's house, again, I grew up in a shack. When I first went there, I couldn't believe it. This huge compound on, in Rancho Mirage on Frank Sinatra Drive. And when you go inside the compound, there's a huge security gate, and there's a big main house, and there's tennis courts, and there's swimming pools. And there's, uh, there was one uh, big room, bigger than this room here, that had nothing but electric trains. Two million dollars worth of electric trains lined up along the walls on all the walls. Every train that was ever made in the world was on that wall and in the middle was a big uh, table where he had like six or seven trains that were going from the East Coast to the West Coast and he'd put an engineer's hat on, he'd operate them. You know, woo woo, and the trains and all the sound and everything. It was just fascinating to, to, to be there. So this compound. But along the outer perimeters of that compound were bungalows where his house guests stayed. They were called New York, New York, Strangers in a Night, Tender Trap, My Way, named after his songs. and. His house guests were the most interesting people, as I pointed out earlier, that like Gregory Peck and his wife Veronique, uh, Kirk Douglas, his wife Anne, uh, Jack Lemon and his wife Felicia, uh, Robert Wagner, Joe St. John, Angie Dickinson, Isaac Stern, uh, also Admiral Shepard, was the first man in space and on the fifth lunar mission landed on the moon. And, and I was you know, a Navy man, I'm an enlisted man, I'm going to be around an admiral, he was in a bungalow next to me, we'd play golf together. And I, I'm playing golf with an admiral and I could say things like, Shot, Al. <laughs> Could never talk to an admiral like that when I was in. Yeah. So now, Admiral Shepard gave a, a, a lecture one night where we were down there in the desert, and Frank and I went to the lecture. And a couple interesting things. As you know, on the moon, he, was, he hit a golf ball on the moon. And uh, so after the lecture, he asked Q&A, and the woman stood up. She said, uh, uh, Admiral Shepard, when you hit that golf ball on the moon, did they ever find it? And he said, they? <laughs> Later on that night, we were at Frank's house, and we were talking to him, and I said, I said to, to Admiral, I said, Admiral, seriously, when you hit the golf ball on the moon, did it ever come down? He said, yeah, because, Tommy, the moon has one-sixth of the Earth's gravity. He said, so anything you can get up on the moon stays up six times longer. <laughs> and Frank looked at me, and I looked at him, and we both at the same time said, fly me to the moon. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>